On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we review Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance. Today, we have another great review for you. We are reviewing Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger. Um, as most of you probably know, Smoke Wagon is a company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, their master blender, Aaron Chepanik, has done wonderful things in the past with a lot of their bourbons. Um, when Uncut Unfiltered came out, it was quickly one of my favorite blends. Um, but they do source their bourbon, which is perfectly fine. But I've noticed over the years with Uncut Unfiltered and the more recent batches I've got, there are some youthful notes. And that just goes in line with we're running out of aged bourbon. And uh, I always wonder what's going to happen to these companies who are sourcing this, especially since MGP sold um, and they acquired Luxro. A lot of interesting things happening in the bourbon world. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how these companies that strictly source bourbon continue to do new and innovative things. So with all that, we know just by watching Aaron Chepanik on his Instagram channel that when he's blending MGP into his uncut, unfiltered batches, he's using some four, five, six, seven, even eight year MGP stock. Um, again, those are running out. So. What are they doing? Now they're releasing an uncut, unfiltered, the younger. So I'm assuming this is four to five year bourbons blended in. Um, so my expectations honestly are not very high for this because even in the latest uncut, unfiltered batches, I have noticed youth and I've done that blind. I've had this in a couple blinds and the latest batches, I've really noticed some youthful notes. Um, so what we're gonna do is taste Uncut Unfiltered the Younger, and then we're gonna do a blind taste test. We're gonna taste it against an older batch of Uncut Unfiltered that I have, and then we are gonna taste it against a recent Uncut Unfiltered, uh, batch 143A, and we will do that blind. For those of you new to the Whiskey Tornado, I'll quickly explain our scoring system. If you've seen this a million times, use the timestamps below. Go ahead and skip ahead to the chapter you wanna see. Here on the Whiskey Tornado, we have seven categories. We rank zero to one. A score of 0.5 is an average score for each category. First two categories are handicapped. Those are appearance and availability. Then we review the nose, palette, finish, body, and value. We love to really take a deep dive into these. So if there's something you would rather not listen to, again, use the timestamps below. Feel free to skip ahead. At the end, we add all those scores up. Any score of three or better is bar worthy. Feel safe buying that for your bar. It's a really good bourbon. Any score of four or better means it's special. It's bunker worthy. Buy a couple extra in case the bourbon you love is no longer made. And for those of you who may not know, you can go to whiskeytornado.com. You can see every whiskey I've reviewed so far this year see how they rank, see what bourbons are in our running for bourbon of the year so far. All right, with all that being said, let's get into the appearance of Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger. All right, guys, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that the Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered are some of my favorite bottles as far as appearance goes. They are just beautiful. Um, you know, Aaron used his own mold to do these like uh, these like roses that, that are raised and the fiddly bit, the little medallion in the middle, um, the gold and black label. The Uncut Unfiltered bottles are just as beautiful as it gets to me. I love these. I'm actually saving all of my uncut on filters to make uh, maybe a chandelier or something one day, but I really love those. Um, the new bottle, the younger, is just a little bit cheaper version, but it is cheaper price. It's cheaper than the uncut unfiltered, and we'll get into value and all that. So this particular bottle just has a gold, uh, gold label, and it still looks beautiful, but it's not as pretty as the uncut unfiltered batches. 
Um, there's no fiddly bit. So it's, it's still nice, better than average. We're gonna give it a 0.6. All right, moving on to our second handicapped category, and that is availability. Now, this, this is handicapped because availability is always a sliding scale. As of now, the availability is very, very limited on this, and I'm not sure why. They, they're blending younger bourbon into this. You would think it'd be more available than the uncut unfiltered that's supposedly a little bit older. But in my state, very few bottles were released. Um, I think I got this from Ray at Harvest Market, so huge shout out to them. I think they only got like six bottles um, of uncut unfiltered the younger. So, um, and the other store owners I know in the area didn't get many either. So very, very allocated for whatever reason, even though there's younger bourbon blended into this. So as of now, we're gonna give the availability a 0.1. Of course, that could always change. If they start releasing more of this, that could go up. All right, guys, let's get into the good stuff. Let's get a pour of the younger here. And we are gonna nose it and taste it rate it and then we are gonna do a blind which I'm super excited for so here we go let me swirl it around a little bit coat the glass and let's take a sniff cheers everybody oh you know I'm not picking up any youth on this it's uh, the first note which I often get with MGP especially with um, with smoke wagon the blends that Aaron Chepnik does, he it must really be drawn, at least for my nose and my palate, to honey. And that's one of the first things I get on the nose here. Big, big honey note right up front. Also, if I was if I was smelling this blind, it does smell, it does have some of those MGP characteristics. And MGP is really hard for me to explain, but I often get a little bit of like pecan nuttiness a little bit of floral aspect to it but honey sometimes I'll get some beautiful berry notes I'm not picking up any berry notes in here maybe a little bit of like green apple on the nose like tart green apple but honey is is the overwhelming dominant note on the nose for me I really like the nose it's not anything um, super special certainly better than average we're gonna give the nose a 0.6 all right moving on to the palette cheers everybody Oh yeah. Wow, man. Like I said, there's no age statement on this. We're talking 57.97% alcohol. So again, uncut, a good proof. It's supposed to be a little bit younger, four to five years. I'm not getting any graininess on there. Um, in fact, um, I've got more graininess and more youth on some uncut, unfiltered batches, to be honest. Now, what I wonder what I wondered when I picked this up, I didn't have high expectations for it uh, because it is younger, but I also wondered if they're using their best bourbon in this first batch to really sell this. So keep that in mind. But that first sip was really phenomenal. Uh, I got no youthful notes, which I expected to get. And it was like a blast of honey. It was nice. It was bright. Um, tons of honey on that first sip. Let's go to the second sip. Oh man, what in the world? This is better than a lot of uncut, unfiltered batches I've had. That was um, extremely buttery, creamy. It's like butter and honey. Um, in fact, what it what it just reminded me of was if you're uh, if you've ever been to like Texas Roadhouse and you get that that cinnamon butter that you put on rolls. It was like honey cinnamon butter. Um, Wow, that was a good, good sip. Let's go one more here. Go to third sip. Oh, come on. Man, that is easy to drink at what I say was 57.97. Very rounded, very creamy, extremely well balanced. Holy crap. I don't understand. Um,. <laughs> I don't understand how this is the younger. This is like, I'm having trouble putting this into words because I, you know, I had these preconceived notions of going in and going, oh, it's young. I could taste the youth. Uh, it tastes a little woody to me. Um, that is just beautiful, bright, cinnamon, honey, butter. Really, really nice. Uh, I'm not getting a whole lot of fruit notes. So not like a crazy amount of complexity. Little cinnamon on the back end. 
Man, I love this. I got to take one more sip because I'm kind of just, man, I'm uh, I'm blown away at how much I like this. All right, another sip here. It just stays the same. So good. Holy crap, that is crushable. Uh, man, I, I'm amazed at how balanced it is. I'm amazed I'm not getting any youthful notes. And I love the texture of this, the, the body of it. That creamy cinnamon butter is fantastic. I can't believe I'm saying this, guys, but I'm going to give the palette for Smoke Wagon Uncut the Younger um, a .8. It's, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. All right, on to the finish. I'll take one more sip because it's just so good. It gets easier to drink with every sip. Man, mm. it's just sweetness. And Aaron Chebnik always blends these. He loves a long finish and he delivers on these uncut, unfiltered batches. It's crazy to me because you see all these companies just sourcing MGP and you're like, great, another four to five year MGP. Why do we need that in our lives? <clears throat> and he blends these, ages these in Nevada. Um, and they do taste different. Now there's that MGP footprint, that MGP DNA in there, but he knows how to blend and uh, he does an, a fantastic job. Uh, and, and this is really good. The finish is just cinnamon red hots for me. You know, you initially get that wave of, of honey butter and then it just subsides and it's cinnamon red hots on the back end. Um, and it goes for a while. It's a good finish, um, you know, probably I would say I would give I was I was thinking a 0.6 at first, but I'm still tasting it. So I'm going to give the finish a 0.7. It's it's really nice. All right. When we're talking about the body on this thing, this is what surprises me because it's probably my favorite part of the whiskey. It is so creamy and buttery and viscous and and super oily. Um, the body is is the star of this. Um, it's so nice and rounded. I'm going to give the body a 0.8 as well. All right, moving on to value. Um, I mean, what can you say? This is a $55 bottle. Uncut, unfiltered is a $70, $80 bottle at times and, and may even go for higher than that. Um, and, and I think this is better than a lot of uncut, unfiltered batches I've had. It is going to be so interesting to taste this side by side and see where it stacks up and see if it's as good as I think it is for my palate anyway. But right now, this first batch of Uncut the Younger at $55, uncut, 57% uh, alcohol, um, better than a lot of uncut unfiltered batches. I would take this over, I'm trying to think of anything I would take over in that $60 range. You know, maybe Russell's Reserve uh, Private Select if it's a store I trust. Um, but man, this is really, really good. Yeah, of course, you know, your Elijah Craig barrel proof is going to be better. Um, but still really, really good on the value. I'm going to give it almost, almost a one. We're going to give it a 0.9. Um, when we're talking value, I would probably put, you know, Elijah Craig barrel proof above that stag junior above that. If you can find them at MSRP, but this is right there. It's so good for the price. I'm going to give value 8.9. All right, guys, that brings the overall score for Smoke Wagons Uncut the Younger to a 4.2, making it bunker worthy and one of my highest rated bottles of the year. I'm blown away. I'm as blown away as you guys are. I was, I was ready to not like this. I was ready to know it had youth. So now the important question for those of you uh, bourbon nerds that want to stick around. We are going to taste this blind against an older batch, a very older batch of uh, Uncut Unfiltered, probably one of the earlier ones, uh, one of the first ones, and then of batch 143A, which just came out, you know, a month ago. Um, and we're going to see where this stacks up. I will, you know, kind of fast forward so you don't have to watch me do all the tasting notes and, and kind of jump right ahead to my final thoughts uh, just to make the video a little more interesting. But I'm going to pour these, mix them up, and then we'll go ahead and taste them. All right, guys, I have mixed those up. I have no idea which one is which. Uh, I will quickly tell you guys the proofs on these. The, again, the Uncut the Younger is 57.97. The uh, older batch of Uncut Unfiltered is 57.73. 
and the newest batch of uncut unfiltered is 57.6 so they are all like right in line um so interested to see what we've got here we are going to go in glass a again i will just fast forward through this and we will jump to the end here All right, guys, we are back. We have tasted through these, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one. Uh, the good news is there were no, there was not youth on any of these. Um, so this latest batch of Uncut Unfiltered, it's in here. I don't know which one it is. I wouldn't even guess. Um, but it was really good uh, because there were no youthful notes. All three of these were fantastic. What stood out for me was there was more complexity on glass B and C, and the finish of those two was longer than glass A. Um, if I had to guess, I would guess A's the younger, just because it didn't have as long as a finish and, and the complexity wasn't quite there, but it was still fantastic. Um, all of these were great, but I'm gonna put A in last place. I have no idea. I don't care which one's first. In fact, I would almost like it if the younger was better than the other two i doubt it's going to be but who knows um because this first uh this older um older smoke wagon on cut unfiltered i absolutely loved so i'll be interested to see if that came in first or not so without further ado here we go in third place glass a and it is it is the younger uh so it, yeah it's not as complex the finish isn't as long as the other two but again you're talking uh, you know, 30 bucks cheaper. So it's, it's really fantastic for the price. Um, I'm, I wish it would have beat one of these two, honestly, but the complexity and finish just wasn't quite as long. All right. What I'm really interested to see is on these last two, which is better. So glass, uh, B is my second place. And that is, uh, oh, that's the, un <laughs> that's the unknown. I have a U on the bottom of the glass for unknown. Cause I don't know the batch. Um, but that's the older uncut unfiltered. So how exciting is that? The newest batches of uncut unfiltered living up to the hype. This 143A is fantastic. The younger is fantastic. I don't know how Aaron Chapinick is doing it with younger stocks of MGP, but he's still blending some amazing bourbon. You guys will not be sorry if you buy the younger or any of the uncut unfiltered. They're fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want more information on Whiskey Tornado, just go to whiskeytornado.com. You can buy my photography, you can buy merch, you can get in our single barrel picks, all those fun things at whiskeytornado.com. I'm gonna cheers you guys with this latest batch of Uncut Unfiltered, cause it is fantastic. They're all fantastic, you can't go wrong. Cheers to you guys. Damn, those are close. Aaron does it. Younger's good. It is a little bit sharper when you taste those back to back, but still really, really good. <laughs>